How's my mana? Almost full. So I'm going to redo the uh, shield. I don't know if it matters what color the shield is. It seems to work no matter what the color is, and I don't think the shield does damage to enemies when they hit you, even if it is the right color, so I don't think it actually matters. Maximilian had not lied. The city is miraculous. It glows in the darkness like an incredible jewel, but the thought of what lies inside, the guardians of Ulioth, makes Edward shiver with fear. Nine great towers dwarf the surrounding city. Perhaps the towers serve as a focus, channeling great tides of energy into the city itself. I heard something. color. Okay, so red. Um, oh, does this thing have a mode? Yeah, double shot or one shot. Definitely double shot. Um, I mean, I have so much ammo, I should keep using my elephant gun, right? But then again, I should probably save it for a boss or something, just in case. This is definitely leading into boss territory. So let's try the double shotgun? Hopefully it reloads pretty fast. Eh. Oh, no, no, no. Very inefficient, but it's fine. Yeah, this little double shotgun's pretty good. Oh, that was it? Mana, pretty good. Let's redo our shield. Yeah, that shield spell is so good. It kind of reminds me of Quen, the the Quen spell from the Witcher series, and how I just like overused it all the time, because it would just, it would. How did it work exactly? It would tank at least one shot. It would nullify the damage, no matter how much damage. Which is just how these work. It's really good. This thing seems to work perfectly fine from afar. Like, I don't think it's inaccurate. casting over there. Um, I'll stick with a shotgun. Is it still enchanted? Oh, crap. We need a new shield. Oh, crap. Oh, I need to... Uh, I think I need to um, this 
what's it called? Dispel magic? Right? You got this around you? Yes. Okay. Dispel magic, it's blue, so green. Think it needs to be max level, probably. That maybe worked? Yes, it did. <laughs> it sounds so funny. Where are you going? Okay then. Shotgun's kind of amazing. For once, the range of weapons are actually really good. Uh, how are we doing on shotgun ammo? 62. Still pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't know what I expected. Expecting that to be locked. These plinths look like the ones Pius or Pius had encountered in a forbidden city, where he found the essences of the ancients. Edward briefly wonders what their purpose could be. It would seem as though the array itself serves as a massive circle of power. Each switch around the perimeter of this room corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Once a spell has been scribed, it is magnified by the array. Could this be the Guardian City weakness? If one could somehow remove the magic from this area... Hmm? Each switch corresponds to a focusing tower where a rune may be scribed. Magnified by the array. Sounds almost like I need to sabotage the runes so that they magnify bad magic for the city, in, in my case, good magic. Or I just need to do a dispel magic here. I'm not quite sure which. Do I need to do something individually with these? Pulsating field of energy emanates from the stone. Should Edward touch the field? Uh. I think Edward should save the game. Okay, now Edward should touch the field. Oh, it's a teleporter pad? Hi there. Hey, little buddy. I still think they're cute. Huh. Move them, scribe rune. Oh, it's just the three... Um... I forgot the word. Alignments. So it should be as simple as just making it green, right? Because green is good against blue. That should do it. Eh, that's fine. What do we need? What should we get from the buffet? We need magic and a little bit of health. Hmm. I'll go with health. So we're looking for red. Too late. Yeah, it 
look at the scale of this place. Oh, hi. You make such silly noises. Just stop it. You're just making a joke of yourself. You're trying to be scary, but you're really not, little creature. actually didn't do the thing. I could be a little bit conservative with ammo here. So much sanity. How are we doing on shotgun ammo? 52, still really good. Uh, shield is good. I should heal. I don't need to use a full strength heal though, so let's do like a two strength. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so where am I now? This did not go back to where I came from. Oh, I think when I pull that lever up there, it's probably going to open up these pathways and it'll probably take me back to where I came from because the main room had those large force fields that you couldn't go through of course so probably all just leads back to the main chamber you gotta go through this like fight and then go back to the main chamber I wonder where the other ones lead though there's like three ways out of here Yeah, here we go. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of running, huh? If I have to do every- <laughs> do I have to do every single one? Oh man. Engage Array. There seems to be nine of these. Oh, look at that. That view view and this one's a lot better. So cool. Such a tall, spiky city. Spires appear to be focusing magical energy from a nearby source. Perhaps if a rune is marked on the spire, it will affect the flow of magic. Could the spires themselves serve as a circle of power? So I guess we don't have to do them all, right? Or did I need to do that? I don't... I guess I did, otherwise I wouldn't be able to go back, right? That activated the force field? Does that take us to another battle chamber? Yes it does. Okay, so we got a bunch of mini fights. We got <laughs> red versus blue. Well, um... Ah! I thought maybe they'd fight each other. I didn't reload all the way. Do 
I need sanity? Yeah, I do. It's kind of a neat idea that all these little mini fights kind of lead up to one big thing. I just wish there wasn't so much running back and forth, especially with the limited character stamina. Okay, this is different. Um, so they're all green, but I mean, what do I want to cast? Self, item, area, creature. Hmm. I'm trying to hurt this place, right? So I probably want to do like magic damage. What spells do I have that I can make from those? Okay, I looked it up and magical attack is project area. So I think we have those, right? Area. Wait, do I have to do only one? Oh yeah, I can only do one. And yeah, we actually don't have project, but we do have area. Well, I'll do area for this one and then I guess for the other one, we'll do project. Oh, that's not what I want to use. Look at them wagging their tails. They're so excited. So yeah, I forgot. How many different places were there? I just counted, but... I don't remember. This is just a river of blood, isn't it? Oh, that's like a meat grinder over there. Ugh. It's been used. But yeah, I wonder if we're just like recreating a level 3 or a power 5. Um, hold on, is this floating? This whole like arch here? But yeah, I wonder if we're just recreating that. Oh, this leads into another chamber, which means even more walking. Yeah, so there's nine of them. Whoops. So it could be... Power, I guess it'd be a power seven. Yeah, I guess it'd be a power seven spell that has nine runes. It could be that. It probably is. I'm almost certain it is, actually. Yeah, we got more powers. Okay. So a bunch of powers, and then it's going to be project an area for the magical attack. I think is what we're making. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I see, oh, I see creatures like behind something, glass or something. Probably can't save, right? Nope. Let's enchant my shotgun. Oh, I just made it red. Should be green. I should redo that, actually. Let's redo that right now. Design, high level, green. There we go. I should do this thing with damage field, too. Damage field assign, high level green. Shield doesn't matter. Recover. Oh, I actually found out when I used a different color of recover. Um, the alignment of recover actually determines what thing it restores. So if it's red, it restores health. If it's green, it restores sanity. Um, if it's blue, does it restore magic? But you're using magic to cast it. I haven't tried that yet. Huh. Let's actually try that. So what's my current mana? Almost full. So let's try recover. Oh, I'll do a medium level one. Blue. Takes mana. I think it just gave me like back the exact amount that I spent in it. Let's try casting the top tier one. Yeah, it just <laughs> goes right back up to what it was before. Oh yeah, so let's actually enchant this with the right thing. thing just broke out of it. That's impressive. I have a question though, is there any reason for me to fight any of these? If the way is open, then can't I just walk out? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, bye. What's this door? I see symbols next to it. Hmm. Whoa. Purple Pit of Doom? Good call. I wonder if I actually consumed one of the flasks. Some of these challenge rooms are just bizarre. Like this one, is is this supposed to be actually hard? I don't even need to stop sprinting.
probably just run out of this one too, huh? Big one somewhere. Oh no, it's one of those things. But yeah, there's nothing to stop me from just going past you, right? Okay, so uh, we did area, so we need to not protect, project, right? Project area. Yeah. stone block marked with bizarre etchings dominate, dominated the room. Is it art? A memorial? A tomb of the original inhabitants? Or a bastardized interment of its loathsome conquerors? Uh, I think this one I have to fight. I gotta dispel it. Wait, do I already have the red thing assigned to dispel magic? Quick spell, dispel magic, green, yes. Have fun with that. See ya. Oh, again? Okay, we just got one left. Think before I do that, though, I have literally no sanity. So, <laughs> let's do a strong recover with green. Full sanity? That didn't even take much mana. Nice. Should be one more power and then I think we're done. That didn't sound good. I think I got one wrong. Where do I go here? Hey there.
Oh, back here. All right, we gotta run into this room too. Okay, so we have area over here to the left. This one here, that's area. And this is the one that fizzled. Now, wasn't it project area that is magical attack? Project. Well, Antrobok and Red Goromor. I've got a list here. I've got an image of all the runes and exactly what they mean. Um, Red Goromor. Red Goromor is area. So the one we already have and the one that is right. Antorbok is... Yeah, it's project. And that's the one I chose, so that's wrong. So it's not project. So if it's not project, then what could it be? Um, well, let's look at the other ones that also have area. Reveal invisible is one. That little, I don't know, sort of Z-like symbol in the bottom left of this one. That's the area one. Reveal invisible, I don't think that would be it. Damage field? That could be it. Dispel magic. That could also very well be it. Magic pool. Probably not. Hmm. Damage field or dispel magic? Probably dispel magic. Most likely that one. So hold on. What is that? We're going more in Nethlek. So Nethlek. I'm just looking at this list here. This image. Nethlek. Nethlek. Okay, I see what it looks like. Let's see if that's an option. Yep, so it's one of the unknown ones, but that is Netflix, so that should dispel magic. That should do it. Yes, right one. Why is the camera shaking? Edward's meddling with the arrays has conjured incredible energies that are now building up inside the city and can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. Okay. Can we save? No. Okay then. Let's go. Wonder how long I have. I wish there was a stamina spell. Uh oh. Ah, oh, we're just gonna keep going. I think they're all just like scared because the horrible energy is going on. They're probably all just running. You okay? Sanity's not too bad. Hold on. You're right, buddy.
so that's what happened. That's the one that uh, Pius sent, right? Said you can't leave this this realm or something until you do this thing. Master, I am saddened to report the destruction of the Guardian Colony at the Ruin of Enga. I am not without eyes, servant. I knew of their loss as it happened. It is not a concern of mine. The Guardians were merely tools to forward the greater cause. Think of them as casualties of war. But the balance of power has shifted with their loss. Nonsense! Balance? There has never been balance. If anything, we shall remove all balance. Our plan continues as predicted. I have seen the future, Pius, and it portends a great battle between myself and the great being of matter. Chaturga will fall to my superiority. The power of Chaturga is useless against me. Of course. As it was meant to be. The gates will be readied. Just the same. We shall overcome. Be patient, my servant. Be patient. Alex finds a scrap of paper tucked between the pages of the tome. It appears to be a note from Edward. You know, since I know I can recover my sanity now, I should probably just do that right now, because Alex's sanity is extremely low. Ah. <sighs> Much quieter. Well, <laughs> it was for a second. Small note written on a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I have left you a small surprise to keep you going when everything seems to go awry. It was my favorite tipple, and there are several barrels of it in the basement. Please help yourself to what you can find. My guess is that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Barrels of tipple in the basement. Barrels makes it sound like, I don't know, probably wine, but what actually is tipple? I'm going to Google it right now. Tipple. Tipple, um... An alcoholic drink. Yep. It's also a verb to drink liquor, especially by habit or to excess. It's also an area near the entrance of mines, which is used to load and unload coal. Anyway. So it sounds like it's nearing basement time, huh? Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And in the next episode, I guess we're going to go find our grandfather's old tipple. <laughs>